Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited to be here. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for joining me once again. So for today's video, we are going to be doing seven things that make me go, what the hell? Like what's happening? I don't, exp somebody explain something to me, okay? <laughs> something to surprise me about Nairobi and, and Kenya in general. Um, it's a laid back kind of video, you know, chilled out. So yeah, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, share this video with somebody you think might find it interesting or useful or funny, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So. First things first, question of the day. <laughs> so my question to you guys for this video is, what are some of the things that make you go, what the heck about where you live? And make sure to let me know where you are, like what country you're in. Um, so yeah, so let me know what that is and let's get into the video. So the first thing I would like to talk about is cab drivers. Cabbies, I don't know, okay. I don't understand why Uber drivers in Kenya don't use maps. They will call you and be like, where are you? I'm like, but I put it in the map. Like, I don't, okay, fine, whatever. I'm at this particular place. How do I get there? I'm like, use the map. I don't this is a huge problem for me especially when I first first came because I didn't know anywhere I don't know the streets I don't like I couldn't direct these people so I had to go on the maps and tell them oh I see you're here come this way da, 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 da. like I'm wasting my minutes trying to explain to you where you are and you have the maps like why I don't somebody explain to me like I just I or like when you get into the cab they'll be like where are you going I'm like I'm going to this place okay how do we get to the place Okay, I, use the map, bro. Use the map. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand why this is the situation, why this is the way it is. Yeah, okay. So that would be number one. Number two, foreigners. There's a lot of foreigners in Nairobi. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a good thing. I love multicultural cities. I love places um, that, you know, there are lots of different kinds of people because you get to learn about other people, other places, and all that good stuff. And then food also. Food also gets, you know, vibrant as well. But it, it astonished me. Like, I, it was one of the first things I realized because in my mind, I guess when I left Kenya, you know, you have this image and you live with it for forever. So when you come back and you're like, yo, doesn't look like anything that I left. It kind of takes you a little bit aback, and that's what happened to me. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot of foreigners here. Like, even in um, the area where I live in, I see a lot of different types of people, like Indian people, Asian, like a lot of Asian people, you know, and just like all kinds of people, just like walking around, and you know, it's like I'm like, wow, a lot has changed, like, <laughs> you know. So that's something that was like. What? Okay, okay, I see you. You know, there's a lot of foreigners, so that's something that surprised me. I did not know that that this was this was how it was here. So, <laughs> yeah, but I do love it because it reminds me of Toronto. So, yeah. Um, number three. So the number three thing that surprises me is poor customer service. Yo, I don't know what the problem is in this country with customer service. I don't know if it's just like a concept that is not that just doesn't exist in this country but like these you are you will be hard pressed to find good customer service like you can go sit down at an establishment and you're the one who has to flag down the waiter to come and serve you yet they're st standing by the bar or wherever they are just hanging out and you're like why am I here I came to get service like I don't what why am I here I don't like, aren't you supposed to come and check on me? Like, come check on me. If the, was the food okay? Do I have enough? Do I have enough drinks? Do I have what? Whatever I need. You know, like, come check on me. Like, I don't understand. Like, the customer service here is just, it's it, it's horrible. It's it's really really bad. And um and the other thing about the customer service that I have a big big issue with is some establishments where there will be a lot of foreigners. You as a black person will not get service or the, you, your service will be just even worse than it normally even is. It's like, because you'll be sitting like a second class citizen. It's like if you're black here and these are actual places like that this happens where everybody knows that this happens and that astonishes me because I'm like, what do you mean? Like what I'm here to spend my money and you're telling me that I'm not going to be treated the same as everybody else. Like what? 
I know. Mm -mm. Yeah, that one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, number four thing. Nairobi is so small, like it's minute. And what I mean by this is that everybody knows everybody. Like it's it's shocking to me. Like, and mind you, I haven't been here. I have not had a life here for all those years, like you know, 15 years, whatever the case is. So for me, I know very few people. So it shocks me when I meet somebody for the first time, but they know somebody else that I've known for like 10 years in Canada. How? Like, how does that I don't get that. Like, I had some really crazy experiences at the beginning, you know, when I first came, and I had met this person. And Stella, my friend, my best friend, she sends me a text and she's like, Oh, I had you at this place. I'm like, How do you even know that? Apparently, like, it's just, it blows my mind how small Nairobi is. Peep, everybody knows everybody. It's just, it's crazy. It's I don't. It's crazy. Like you guys tell me whether you've had this experience, but I find Nairobi super, super small because everybody just knows everybody. Now, this is another thing. Kenyans don't say goodbye when they hang up the phone. So when I first came and I'm having a conversation with somebody, and they finish talking and then they just hang up, and I'm like. Are we done? Like, <laughs> I don't know if we're done if you don't say goodbye. Like, I need closure from this phone call. Like, are we in agreement? You know what I mean? Like, how do you just finish talking and then you just hang up? And I'm like, okay, was there more to come? What about me? What, what I may have wanted to say something. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's no closure when you <laughs> end conversations on the phone here in Kenya. And that was something I was like, you guys don't say goodbye. Like, <laughs> So yeah, so there's that. Can also say goodbye on the phone and I find it freaking hilarious. So yeah. So the other thing is, there's a term, okay, that I was not familiar with until very recently. And that is Kenyan cowboys. And I'm like, what, what the hell is a Kenyan cowboy? <laughs> I don't know what the hell a Kenya cowboy is. Apparently, Kenya cowboys are like this white families or people who've lived in Kenya for generations. So they're Kenyan by all accounts, but they're like, they have a very, I guess, cowboy ish lifestyle. I don't know. They hang out in Karen and they go hiking and they have farms and like, just, just <laughs> I don't know much about them, but like, it was just surprising to me that there is such. There's such a segment of the population called Kenyan cowboys, and they're not even like black. <laughs> they're white, so I was like, okay. I mean, I don't know. That's surprising to me. I didn't know. Did you guys know this existed? Because I didn't. I had no idea this was a this was a thing. Like you know, but yeah. So apparently, Kenyan cowboys do exist. They live among us out here. Maybe not among us. Maybe in Karen, but like. Anyway, but yeah, Kenyan cowboys, that's a thing. <laughs> now, the final thing is Kenyans love to talk about money. I don't know what it is, and I feel it's not even just about money, but there's also this sense of like material competitiveness. And it's like I don't I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to respond. So when somebody's like, oh you know I did this and that and that and that, and I didn't even ask you, like you were just telling me things that you did or you have or whatever, I'm like good for you i don't what i don't know i don't know how to respond like i'm like okay great you know are you telling me because you thought i may have wanted to know or like i don't <laughs> i feel like kids like to like side or maybe outshine each other and they'll be like you know i used to have this cup but then this happened and then i did i don't i don't have it anymore and now i have this other one why this is like just some things or even like ah may can drink that bottle of vodka or whiskey whatever i don't even know like but i can't drink that me i only drink this type of thing you know what i mean and it's like okay really like i don't know like i, I personally don't get what the big deal is but it's a thing here that i'm like oh okay <laughs> so sometimes i'm just like 
I don't respond because I don't even know how to respond. So yeah, that's a thing that like surprises me. I'm like, uh, I don't know, you know. <laughs> so anyway, so those are some of the things I find, you know, a little bit awkward, a little bit surprising. Um, and yeah, so let me know uh, what your opinion is. Do you find the same things awkward? Do they make you go, what the heck is going on right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know, let me know. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.